zip up your favourite tracksuit, we are back. Galatasaray, they finished sick last season and they've not exactly had the best start this season. And there's only one man you're going to call when things aren't going too well and he goes by the name of Stanley Petrov. And you can call him a tinder thought because if you're under six foot, you're not in his plans. He's looking to build a beast of a team full of absolute nasty bastards. Got 30 odd mil to splash, bored, they want us to win the domestic double. They want an average squad age of 29 in two seasons, I reckon we can do that mate, we can build a team of experienced players. And then you know, when we've got a bit of success, we can start attracting some of them younger players. Right, the squad, gonna be honest, Stanley, he's been ruthless this year, he's gonna be getting rid of most of them. This lot, not good enough mate. They're out the door, so we'll wait until the windows close before we fully go through the team. First bit of business it is the dirtiest man in football, Marouane Fellaini. Welcome to the club, lad. Second bit of business is Danilo. He's played at a lot of big clubs and we'll be converting him into a CDM. Second is Kuyati. Stanley's like this, lad, since his days at West Ham. Seven mil. Not a bad bit of business either. But the season is starting very early with this one. So Stanley's opening game is about to get underway. It's a real big test as well. We're opening with Fenerbahce. And looking at the team sheet, how did I forget to leave out the sign-in of Danny Da Costa from Frankfurt? He cost us about 15 mil. I'm an absolute tool. Anyway, let's get the game underway. Danny Costa, gonna be a beast, mate. He's gonna be an absolute beast. First game of the season, it's a big one. And away there, you need all your players on point. But keeps first half, dreadful mistake, or 1 0 behind. And I'm going to be honest, that was not where the poor mistakes from the keeper ended. Look at this, they whip it in, straight at him, gets a hand to it, and he's still letting it in. And it's dreadful. Another mistake, what's he even doing there? Honestly, Stanley was lost for words in the interview afterwards. He's absolutely fuming. He has never started his career with a 3 0 loss. And then, to make things worse, the captain of the team comes into the office and he wants to leave it's one bad result lad but if that's your attitude you can get gone second game of the season and we're already up against last year's champions the dressing room it's very unsettled at the moment stanley's ruthless approach a lot of players are already gone a lot of players they've lost the starting spots and after the first game he really needed a result in this one but in the end it was even worse than the first game and much, much more embarrassing. Clearly, there is still a lot of work to be done. 5 1 at home. Oh, embarrassing. Then the next game, we had a very shaky start. We go 1 0 down, but Fellaini, decent pass, decent run, good composure to get us back level. And then Callaghan, he would put us in front for the first time in over 200 minutes of football as we come away with the win and it's time for a new signing he's got the height of van dyke the pace of Giroud, and the price tag of a championship right back welcome fazio from roma to the club i also brought in the likes of salif sane from schalke for stanley's new partnership center backs but before we get on with any more business we do have to go up against back to tash and this is what having a team full of six foot players looks like. Set piece goals. Then Da Costa with a pacey ball into the box. And it's a slice shot from Callaghan, but it does double the lead. But a couple of simple through balls, and well, we leave the keeper one on one, and both times. Yeah, he's got no chance, has he? It's a nice chip, though. Then the final sign in of the window. More Syria talent joining up with the squad. Gulagan. Cost us just shy of 16 million. And with that, that is the squad settled for the new season. Complete new back four. Danilo and Kuyate in the middle. Fellaini is injured, hence the formation change. Although we will be sticking with a 4-4-2. Turns out to be quite decent. Then two men that have really impressed Stanley in pre-season and in these first couple of games. Ryan Babel and Kaglegan, who so far, he's been the best player. Then up front, we've got Diangi. He's, he's had a decent start. He's got a couple of goals. And then the man who breaks the six-foot rule, Falcao. We're hoping for prime Atleti Falcao. But so far, we've kind of just had the Chelsea Falcao. But Stanley, he's got faith that the lad will come through. 
and show us what he is made of anyway. It's time to crack on with this season and see if we can turn this poor star around. Hey, this is a first for me. Just won a game whilst having zero shots anyway. After that, much more entertaining game. Costa P, I believe is how you say it. Probably not. Anyway, they take the lead early on. Good save by the keeper. What can you do? Then Falcao. Is he just not a Stanley man? What is going on with him? Caligan though. Oh, he is absolute quality so far. And Diagne, he is really stepping up at the moment. Key word there, at the moment. Kind of goes missing for the rest of the season after this game. Then Cagliagan though, with another assist. Then Diagne, I'm going to tell you at this point, I thought we found ourselves a beast, but I guess not. They did get one back, and it's pretty poor from the keeper if you ask me. Stanley was fuming, and then finally, the man has arrived. Radamel. Falcao with his first goal of the season and he is off the mark and Stanley is starting to make some progress with this team. Up next was me realising that I cannot pronounce any of these team names and Gulam putting this on a plate for Falcao who's really come alive now. He's constantly in the right place but my defending still isn't quite where it needs to be is it? Lucky for us though Falcao is at it once again for his hat trick as he comes away with the match ball. Next game we're away at Kasim Passa or just Kas or just Falcao with another goal and a second. Imagine if he had started the season in this form. Then the young Donny Sakida with a touch of class for the third. Stanley he was absolutely loving it and then Falcao popping up with another hat trick and look at that we have clawed our way all the way back up the table that is what you want to see next though it's time to rectify that 5-1 loss we can beat the small teams at the moment but it is the big teams we're really struggling with in these derby days let's get this underway then we start off mugged off in the midfield not once but twice then mugged off in defense less than 10 minutes in and we're already behind big game mentality just ain't there is it but I'll tell you is there, shortest man in the team popping up with a header from the corner and it's clearly inspired Kiati as he carries the ball from the halfway line whilst holding his man off, sends us two up just before half time, lovely, that's what you want to see. Then just after the second half, Callaghan, he's driving at the defence mate, his shot gets blocked, it's going to be honest, bit of luck but it's a great touch into the box, sets him up for his second attempt. And we finally ended this dreadful run against two of the big teams in the league. And we come away with all three points. But up next, one hell of a game in the cup. We had it all to do. We're 4-1 down. Bit of a mix and match team as well starting this one. But luckily, we get that early goal. Give the fans a bit of hope. Atibo, the man in on loan. He nearly even sets up a second. And we really need to be taking our chances, lads. But Kagle again. The main man sets up Alda Turan, but with seconds left in the first half, we're switching off, mate. We're already thinking about that half-time cup of tea. 5-3 on aggregate, and it's time to see what this team is really made of. And apparently, it is quality finishing as Casida cuts the deficit to just one goal. Pick that ball up, lad. Three minutes to go. Fresh legs. Ryan Babel is trying to put his name up in lights, but it's straight at the keeper. And again, this time it's a Falcao pass to set him up. But the finish straight at the keeper. Stanley, mate. He is absolutely fuming. But not to worry, mate. It is super sub time as Falcao levels the game up 5 5. Bring on extra time because the lads are absolutely up for it. And there's only one highlight in extra time. It's Falcao time reminding everyone why he is the main man up top. 5 1 in the end sends us through to the next round beautiful up next Fanabachi. it was quite a quiet first half second half Aussie lad from the youth academy sends a great ball into Falcao who just floats that into the back of the net and he might be wearing the number nine but that was a 10 unfortunately though the keeper wasn't we share the points on the day January transfer window is now open and Mareko He's been growing well, but he's not happy not being a starting man. He's off to Germany for just under 15 mil. That's a bargain for Wolfsburg. Best Gitash up next though. And Babel with a great delivery into the box. And I have no idea 
how he has managed to send that behind him. Abubakar though, he's looking to send Fazio into retirement mate. Luckily for us though, he clearly doesn't get fish and chips very often does he? Second half though, Da Costa letting the league know why he is the best right back in Turkey at the moment. Fazio though, he was looking to cause some damage after being embarrassed early. Luckily though, doesn't happen. Great save from the keeper. Klitsch down the wing. Second half of the season, he's been decent, I'll give him that. Looking bright as he hits this one into Skeeter and we go ahead against the run of play. Not to worry though, Fellaini is on the case as we go down to 10 men and we crumble like an X-Factor winner's career. Abubakar with the double. Great finish and some great news. A man that Stanley has absolutely adored since his days with Wolfsburg. Edin Dzeko joins up with the club. 10 million plus the Yangi. Decent bit of business. Also, we brought in Furch as Skeeter has left the club. Trazabor up next. Falcao, poor footing, but he still manages to get it in the back of the net. Then Marlon, he did not take kindly to being rinsed by Kaglegan. Gives away a penalty. Falcao converts. Then Ryan Babel, he picks it up in midfield. Leaves his man at the bus stop. Jumps in an Uber and slots that one past the keeper. As we sim the rest of the match for a 4-0 win. BB next. A decent delivery in. Dzeko gets his shot off. Doesn't quite happen. Kuyati though, he keeps it alive. And Falcao making sure everyone knows that he is still top dog at the club. They do get one back. Keeper should really be saving that. Kaglegan, he's at it again. In the box. Gets it through. But Falcao can't convert this time. But the man we've all been waiting for with a Bosnian bullet to send us into the lead. Take a bow, son. Second half now, Ryan Babel. Beautiful footwork and the finish to match. Unfortunately, though, I'm dragging the defence all over the place. A simple through ball means they're back in it. But not for long though, Falcao with the header, then Kuyati to wrap it up, 5-2, on to the next one. I'm just going to go with SK and Da Costa, he's clearly been watching Yedlin in the MLS for this goal. Drives down the wing, into the box, no intention of passing, it smashes it past the keeper to give us an early lead. And just before half time, Kuyati with a great delivery in, which Falcao nods in, sending us two up, and he even manages to squeeze a third in just before half time for all three points. And this is how it looks with a game to play. Four points clear, but Baskashir, they do have a game in hand on us. It is all to play for in this final game. And unfortunately, the first team was absolutely knackered and couldn't play. And new man Kurt from the Youth Academy looking like he was about to put in the best tackle of the season. But no, we're crumbling. One nil down, shambles. But it would not take long for Fellaini to get us back into this game though. And he even nearly set up another before getting the rebound. Too easy for the keeper though. And Atibo in the second half making sure that that loan deal will not be permanent. Stanley is fuming. Then five minutes to go. The ball's whipped into Edin Dzeko with the header. But it is so poor. And the game ends one apiece. Before we find out whether we have won the league. We have a cup final to play up against Sivazapur in this one. And I'll keep it short because we were very dominant. Da Costa, filthy chip. Lad, get him a new contract. Then Dzeko, he wanted in on the chip action. Well, he wanted in on more than the chip action. Hat-trick for the lad. Full time, 4-0. Turk Kapasi completed it, mate. Stanley, he is loving it. And Baskashir, they couldn't get it done. Galatasaray are back on top in Turkey. Next is the Champions League. But before we do wrap up, we've got some housekeeping. Falcao, he finished second top scorer. Probably would have won it if he didn't start so slow. Kaglegan and Ryan Babel topping the assists. And a special shout out to Kaglegan. 18 goals. 18 assists, he's now up to 76 rated star player at this club and that is where we leave it, Kaglian is a beast.